off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I was gonna start our morning showing you these cute little pumpkins, but this is evidence that Ashley was here at the counter doing more perler beads. But look at these. I want every one of my children, Abby's right behind me too. I want every one of my children to do ceramics because I have so many of these from Kaylee and Abby now um, that I want to just collect them from all of them. So once my kids get to high school, they just have to sign up for ceramics. She made this guy and brought it home can actually put a little tea light in there. I don't know how we're gonna fit it, Abby. We're gonna have to find a really small one to fit down in there. But they're super, super cute, so I let her put it right here. This is the first fall decorations. This is what Ashley has been working on. She has a bracelet with all the girls' names on them. Each one of them has one. I think she still has missing one. Uh, I think she got a preference from one girl that she didn't want pink, I guess. <laughs> And then she's been making these little eyes for the team. So this is, but she's, it's more clean and more organized. Before we went to cheer yesterday, we went and got more perler beads because, you know, we don't have enough. But apparently we didn't have white ones or pink ones or I don't know what other color she got. But she's been working. Meanwhile, I have been making a cute little... A new checklist here in my notebook. I moved to a new section. So I just went with the fall colors. I did like a burnt rust orange here. And then this right here says, I love us. This is kind of Jason's phrase. He says this all the time, so I loved that. And then here on this sticker, it says, together we have it all. I just thought that was kind of cute. But I'm loving the, the black and white and the burnt orange kind of going with the fall vibes, Halloween vibes, because you guys, it's... How in the world is it September 29th? In like, what, three days, two days? I don't even know what the calendar is. I don't know how many days are in September. <laughs> how are we almost to October? One day. There's 30 days in September. How are we like this close to October? I don't re... Oh, I can't get... I was gonna say, maybe I'll put up fall decorations, but we moved all the um, orange bins to the upper Oh my gosh, there's beads on the floor again. I swear, this child of mine. We moved all the orange fall decoration bins to our upper storage rack, and it's not the one that I can roll down myself. And I, I can't get, I mean, I could get up on the ladder and then hand the bucket down to Abby. I would rather Jason do it. <laughs> I can be like, I am woman, hear me roar when I want to be. <laughs> and Jason knows it. He knows if I'm determined and I want to get the buckets down, I'll get them down. I've gotten like all... 15 of the Christmas boxes down when I want to get them down. I'm pretty determined, but today lacking a little motivation to d get anything done. Um, but part of that is because I'm going out this evening. I'm going to meet Jason at our store. So I'll give you a quick little tour of our store. For those of you who are new, we own a shoe store. Jason runs it a hundred percent. I just go for moral support when they go to dinner. <laughs> So I'm meeting with him and our staff and we are going to go out to dinner tonight. They did excellent work while we were out of town and had a great sales day. So Jason just wants to get ahead of the holidays and make sure that they know that he appreciates them. So we're taking them out to dinner tonight. It is a sunny blue sky kind of day, but it is only like 60, 65 degrees out there. So it's a little bit chilly. So I have a cute little fall outfit to wear, including my new little... I don't even know if I ever showed this to you. I've worn it a few times when it got cold, but I picked this little um, jacket up at Costco, I don't know, like a month ago or more. Oh, I just took it off the rack. Hang on, there it goes. Just got a little uh, puffer vest in like this olive green. It's the 32 degrees um, brand. I love that one from Costco. Well, it's not a Costco brand, but I love it when they have it. Um, and then I have an olive green like, um, waffle knit long sleeve shirt. You know, I don't do long sleeve shirts. I do like crew necks and sweatshirts, but I have a long sleeve shirt and I wanted to wear that little vest over the top of it. Oh, when Abby's not in the kitchen, I went to try and find an elastic and I think I might have to deal with the junk drawer in the kitchen. And I can look and see if my ring is in there. Every place I clean now, I'm like, oh, maybe my, my ring is in here. 
So as soon as she's not in the kitchen, I'll go in there. She doesn't like to have the camera around. So I'm letting her enjoy breakfast. And then um, maybe we'll, the problem with the junk drawer is that things belong in the junk drawer for a reason because they don't belong anywhere else. It's just like you clean it out and you're like, all right, put it all back in. That's why it's called the junk drawer. All right, that's what's next. I, I literally don't, aside from getting, I almost got ready, like all the way, put my makeup on. I'm not doing my hair for dinner tonight, just cause I'm gonna go sit out in the hot, not hot sun, just gonna go sit out in the sun tomorrow for Ashley's cheer game and we don't have church on Sunday. So, don't really wanna do my hair. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. All right, the time has come. It's not too bad. It's just, <laughs> I just don't want to deal with all this stuff in here. <coughs> I just don't want to deal with it. I want that back in my room. Because I am sick of Ashley being at the side of my bed and not having any clue that she's come into my room. <sighs> I just, I really don't. These are the Trader Joe's croissants instructions. Pretty sure she knows how to use those. Okay, so if you're new to my declutter series, <laughs> I take everything out. What is this? Is this like broken? <gasps> nope. Okay, so I take everything out and then it's harder to put junk back in. So let's take everything out. Maybe I'll have you guys watch with me. This is, it's mildly satisfying, but it's also really stressful. So let's just, Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I really don't want to do this. I really hope there's a lot of garbage in here. <laughs> I really hope there's a lot of garbage in here. There's a lot of paintbrushes, apparently. There's a lot of sticks. Look how many paintbrushes. Well, this is going to be nice because if the paintbrushes can go into a paint bucket, that's going to make me very happy. That... I don't need that because that's an actual sticker. I'm not putting that on any car. So you don't worry about what it is until you get it all taken out. That's the rule. So you just take it all out. Let's see, we're still going. Is this satisfying for you guys? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. I'll know not to do it next time. Oh, those are cheer. These are for cheer. I'm gonna actually set those aside already. Those go into a little, a little container we have. Oh, that's a chiclet. Nice. These are cheer. There's another one. They go on her shoes. So every once in a while we have to change the colors. So those go, I know where those go. Okay. All right. We almost have all of this. I'm just trying to get the stuff out of it and then I'm gonna shake it into the garbage. I don't even know if this container is what's right going forward. We'll see. Okay. For the most part, that's empty. And then all the excess. I really hope there's a lot of garbage in here. Oh, that's nice. Tools that we don't need. Our little, sh you know, oh, gosh, that's like food. Oh, goodness sakes. This is the real side. I hide, you guys. That's probably a retainer. Disgusting. All right. Oh, look at this. We should light some, uh, some, uh, what do you call these? Sparklers. Because you can't buy those in stores anymore. Okay. Those sparklers clearly left soot. Okay. Now we deal with that. First step is to soak. That's that. Okay. We're going to soak it. I'm try and get out the grime. Let that soak for a second. Wash my hand off. Okay. Added some soap when I washed my hands. And now the trick is distract yourself with a phone. So we're going to turn on some TikTok. And we're going to distract ourselves while we sort. Also have an empty garbage can because we're going to throw a lot of things away. 
And maybe I'm gonna get a little cup or something to put the paintbrushes in. I don't know. Okay, we have all of these paintbrushes. I'm going to let, Ch well, I'm gonna ask Chelsea when she gets home if she wants them upstairs or I'll put them in our craft bucket down here. We have a whole bunch of sparklers, maybe one of these nice. I'll let the kids set those off safely. Um, and I am shocked. I'm actually shooketh how much I threw away. I just, I don't care anymore. Batteries are corroded. That was probably like really hazardous. Um, a key that I don't know what that's for. Actually, I have a suspicion of what that's for. Um, actually, we don't need box tops. We can just say no to the box tops. <laughs> I actually have a box for tea lights. So we can put those over there. I'm gonna wipe out the drawer. I'm gonna put all loose parts like this that have come out of baggies. These ones are in baggies. I'm gonna put all of those into this bag here. And then I'm gonna put this in Jason's toolbox because I don't need it here. But things like these little batteries, these are great for our luggage, um, what do you call it? Our luggage weight scale thing. These are from the dollar store. Um, so I'm going to hang on to these guys um, as well as like little flashlights and I don't know what this little paracord thing is, but um, little gummies. Um, I'm gonna take that up to Abby because she needs that for her gums. Um, washi tape, that goes into my office. But then, there, well, there's a knife. We don't need the, <laughs> these are just like dishes. Um, okay, so again, dishes. <sighs> Tools, so we're gonna do toolbox section. This is the lights for our house lights as soon as we put them back up. Sanitizer, I like to have that one here in the kitchen every once in a while. Um, I think that was a magic eight ball. Oh no, it's not, it's like my little uh, what do you call it? My little, I have like fragrance sticks that go into it like that. So I was actually wondering where that was. So I could actually get out one of my fragrance sticks, put it in the front entryway. Um, Ashley needs these beads. She's going to take it off this bracelet because it's too big for anyone. And then she can reuse those beads. I mean, look at this. This is all we have left. These are like chair pads, put these on the bottom of our chairs so it slides around on the hardwood. And then this is moleskin that actually can go into the first aid kit in the bathroom. Look at this. This is going to tools. All of this is going to tools. For whatever reason, when we want super glue, we come to this drawer. So I'm gonna leave the super glue. Maybe I'll put these batteries in the battery box. We might not have a purpose to this drawer, dare I say, but it will, it'll fill back up with junk. <laughs> but this is the most empty I've ever gotten this drawer. Like, and I also, do you know where I can take film? Like we don't even know what's on these two rolls. It'd be fun to find out. Maybe Walgreens? Not for today though. I'm not gonna figure that out today. And matches. So. We're gonna clean out this drawer here. We're gonna rinse this out, and then I think we're almost done. Okay, the drawer is clean, the tray is clean. I actually, am, when I'm at the dollar store next, which I'm not gonna make a special trip for it, I'm gonna get some contact paper to go on the bottom of this, um, just to help it stay neat. But we're gonna go ahead and put that. I'll just put these back here until I make the time to go do that. You know, I'm just, we're just making it up. These flashlights, I'll leave them here in case of emergency. I don't believe they've got batteries in them. This is going to the battery bucket. That's for last minute shoelace needs. We got that for the lights. I want Jason to do more um, pads on the chairs, but I need to order a whole new set. There's only three here, and that's not even good for one chair, so. I'm gonna tuck that back there for now. I need him to figure out what this is for. So we're gonna put that with tools. And all I have, you guys, this is insane. That's all I have to go in here. And this. It won't even really fit. We'll just do that. You guys, that's insane. I don't even know what this is. Is this one of the cracked retainers of Kaylee's? Nope, look at that. We're done. 
Okay, these are all going to the toolbox. All right, I decided to just go ahead and get ready. I might run an errand on my way to go meet Jason, but I don't I don't need to go anywhere for three hours. So <laughs> I want I'd rather be ready to go and then change my clothes and whatnot. So I'm gonna get my face ready, sit and listen to TikTok and it's gonna be a rare occurrence. Since I don't have to go to church on Sunday, um, I'm still kind of unpacking my stuff from our trip. I literally haven't gotten ready since we got home. So um, I, we have a church conference and it's just televised, so we don't have to go to church Sunday. And the week after, I believe we have another conference just for our local area. So it'll be a couple weeks before I have to go to church. <laughs> Probably should have put lotion on before this primer. Maybe I'll do that after. So anyway, tonight is like the first night in a long time that I'm gonna actually put makeup on. First time, not first time, last time for a long time. <laughs> then I'm gonna put makeup on. I just don't, I don't care anymore. And I'm trying to just make sure my skin is cleared up. I had a little, little bits right there. So, much better. And then I put this uh, cute shirt on, long sleeve, and the sun is like now out. I'm hoping it's a little chilly out there or else I'm going to get too hot. I just have a tank top on underneath it because it's a little bit, it's a little bit cleavagey, a little bit revealing on the sides. So um, I don't have anything else to do now. I'm like doing all these things because I don't have anything else to do. So I think I might just... I'm not gonna take a nap, obviously, because I just did my makeup, but I don't need to eat. I'm gonna stay away from the fridge. I'm just gonna, I don't know what else to do. I do need to run to the bank, but like I said, I can do that like on my way to meet Jason, which I need to leave it for two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, I'm all ready to go. Look at my cute little outfit. I've got jeans on. And unfortunately, the whole vibe with the jacket and the long sleeve, it didn't fit well unless I had shoes on. <laughs> I had to give up the flip-flops. I actually did try to make it look decent with my sandals, my leather sandals. It just didn't, the vibe wasn't there. And I really hope it's cold enough outside to justify this outfit. I actually haven't left the house yet today. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, it's there, oh, there's a chill. Look how fallish it looks out here. Look at my trees, they're changing color. Um, I haven't watered this in a long time, but I think the cold weather is just keeping the moisture in the dirt um, and probably adding to it. But look at the color here. We've got a cool color here on my little, I think this one's called a Chinese maple. And my neighbor has pumpkins on her porch. That little tree there is changing color. Definitely have fall vibes going on out here. I'm kind of holding out to see if I can see Ashley when she gets home from school. I am going to, it's an hour drive to go up to our store. I just checked it, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago and it's a 52 minute drive. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna be going into traffic and I haven't decided which direction I'm gonna go up the highway. Up, I don't know which highway I'm gonna go up is what I mean. But, um, and I've been trying to get a hold of Jason to make sure that me getting there at five o'clock is a good time. I'm assuming right when they close, they're all going to dinner. So I'm gonna try him one more time, I'm charging my phone right now. So, um, it should, should be a fun night. We don't normally go out on Friday night. We go out with our friends Saturday nights, but um, this chance is kind of fun. Yeah, Kaylee's been sitting here doing homework because Abby was doing homework in their bedroom. So they kind of separated. You guys, it's kind of weird to like 
you get to a point, last year was my year of having everyone in school all day long and you know, having the house to myself. And this year, I'm back to having um, both kids home, Kaylee and Abby. Abby's home at 11, and then Kaylee doesn't go anywhere unless she goes to work. And so I'm have, I have two of my four kids home again <laughs> a very big portion of the day. If Kaylee works, it, she usually works in the afternoon and evening. Um, right now, she's at Target with uh, Jacob. They're going to go out to visit their friend in Central Washington. She's going to school out there. She was a little bit um, homesick, so they decided to pack it up and go visit her for the weekend and kind of see what campus life is like. So they're doing that this weekend. Also waiting to see if I can get a hold of Jason here. So I was listening to a book, but I needed my... Come on, turn off. I know he's probably like, why are you calling me? The store's not even closed yet, but it's gonna take me a long time to get up there. Got a hold of him. They're having a very busy day. They're very slammed. And he's like, yes, everyone is gonna want dinner as soon as we're closed. <laughs> so yes, get in the car and come. But I'm gonna try and go down and see if I can catch Ashley at the bus stop and say goodbye to her. And uh, then we'll head out. Alright, since this is public information, you can know where this is. This is our shoe store. And hopefully Jason sees that I'm here because I'm pretty sure it's probably locked. Go! I have to hold still. We've already had dinner. I forgot to film here in the store. Here's our shoe store. About 45 seconds to get out. <laughs> um, and now we're doing separate cars to go home. So we'll see you at home. All right. Well, sorry for the short little, <laughs> if it had just been Jason and I, why does it feel like, oh, cause it is in Jason's <laughs> mode. Jason drove the car from the restaurant. There we go. Now turn right onto Ballinger Way Northeast. Uh, we had our employee with us in the car. We drove him to the restaurant and back here to the store. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't even have a driver's license. <laughs> um, and then Jason's taking him home. So we really couldn't pull out the camera and then obviously at dinner I'm not going to pull out the camera in front of people who don't want to be on. So just a little short, you know, portion of our night but we had a good time talking and um, hanging out with them. Our one employee Samantha has been with us for a long time and so it's nice to like be able to like have personal time, not paid time to hang out with her. So I'm going to drive home and see what the kids are doing. Um, Ashley's most likely making some kind of beaded um, something. I'm sure of it. I'm almost positive she's doing something like that. Um, but Jason's pretty tired. I'm. It's only 7.30. I'm betting he wants to shower and get ready for bed, so. I got a hungering for ice cream. So we're at the grocery store. We're gonna go get ice cream. And pepperoni. Abby wanted pepperoni at Target the other day and I forgot. So I need to get her pepperoni. Is it gonna be in the fridge? I don't come to this store normally. So I'm not gonna look too hard for it, but I am gonna look for ice cream. Salami, but no pepperoni. Ice cream is easy to find. Now to find one on sale. What do we got? What do we got? Buy one, get one free, but they're six dollars a piece for the Tillamook. That could be a good deal though. Tillamook is good ice cream. I might do that one if it's the right flavor. <gasps> Chocolate peanut butter is good, but like seriously, I'm not paying and eight dollars for a half a gallon. So we'll find one. Two for five. That's a way better deal. I, peppermint is kind of a cool idea, but it's not like, that's a, that's a holiday one. Chocolate paradise, is there nuts in there? All right, what kind do we get? This may look like a lot, but it really doesn't last very long with six people. Jacob can't have it because he's, he doesn't do well with dairy, but the girls, they can put down some ice cream. What do you want to bet? What is she doing? Told you. 
What? She's beating as I thought she was. Did you eat? Mm -hmm. You feel hot. Are you hot? Mm -hmm. Am I cold? You're cold. Did you eat dinner then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you have your perfume? Because I went out with Dad. Yeah. Is <laughs> it that odd for me to wear perfume? Well, you only use it for like... When I want to feel nice. You had a good day at school? I only got to talk to you for a second. Glad it's Friday. You know how you eek onto my side? Can you eek onto Dad's side instead? Move it all to this side, please. And this mess, not on my side. Okay? I'm going to go check on Chelsea, but I'm going to get into pajamas. And I don't know if I should watch in my room nope. or down I here. Am. You're watching in my room? Okay, mm -hmm. I want that desk cleaned up then. Sassafras. Okay. Go clean up the desk. And then you can have ice cream. I just got it. What is it? Cookies and cream and chocolate. If you want some, go clean up that space. <laughs> I don't give out ice cream for free. All right, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. It's not often that I have makeup on during the week. <laughs> it looks good, though. Um, my eyes are already itchy, though. I want the makeup off. Have a fun night with Jason and our staff, and uh, see how the future goes. Um, Jason's just, he's really tired tonight. <laughs> um, but Ashley has a an afternoon of cheer tomorrow, so we're gonna sleep in a little bit. Enjoy our Saturday morning, get the house clean, and then I'll head off to do her cheer. It's kind of our routine now. And uh, then Jason and I will do our game night. So, um, sign off with you guys. I might do like a, a little uh, community post soon and do like a, ask you guys some qu like Q&A type questions. Like you guys ask the questions and then I'll do a video where we answer them. I think that would be kind of fun. We have a lot of new followers and maybe some of you have some questions for us. Even if you have been following us for a while, that might be kind of fun. We haven't done that in a while. So. If you think of questions, just watch for that post. Don't put the questions here in this comment section because I want to just have them all in one community post. So just watch for me to put a photo or something of us on the page. And then and you'll get that alert if um, you turn on the notifications. So also you need to be subscribed. Little plug. I don't normally do that. So. Um, if you have any questions, watch for that, and um, we will do a video of that soon, just so you can kind of get to know us a little bit better, and by getting to know us, oh, we're not focused. I think sometimes it's really helpful to like do the Q&As, because not only do you get to know us, but then it gives us ideas of what interests you have, and then a little you know kind of getting to know you as well like oh I like doing this do you like doing that too it just kind of helps like tie the community in with you guys so that's really really helpful for us but we're gonna say good night um you guys it's like not even oh, it was 10 o'clock to be fair <laughs> we're getting old all right take care you guys and uh, we'll see you later Easy.